we've just left the spa, left the circuit after a really nice four days. And now we're on our way to a little campsite. We booked a pitch that should be hopefully by the side of a little babbling brook, um, which you can swim in um, and all that stuff. And you can have a fire pit if you so desire. Um, so yeah, we're going to go there and give our ear jumps a rest. person ever mm -hmm. but do they have raccoons in Belgium? Oh why? <laughs> because <laughs> it's a story of food and plastic. <gasps> no way. They can't be. <laughs> Should we get a coffee in the in the casino? <laughs> <laughs> Can we do that? Yeah, shall we? Yeah. yeah. Open proceeding. Right, we've just got to our pitch number 27 and this beautiful site. This is our view today. Before we left, we did the checks on you know what we needed to bring and all the bits and bobs. And one of the things that I think it was Motorhome Matt warned about was reverse polarity electricity supply. So we bought one of these things, which you plug in and it tells you if you've got reverse polarity. And this has. So we don't really know if it's a problem. There's very we can't really find anything out. We haven't didn't have time and didn't do our research really enough to make the little corrective rewired adapter adapter that you put between the lead and the supply so we haven't got that um so now that we've seen the warning we've got to heed the warning because if we did fry the van or heaven forbid our 10 pound kettle or worse one of our laptops then it would be a problem so we're going to err on the side of safety so the reason for this little ranty moan and review is to say be aware on this campsite if it means anything to you we're show it's showing us it's got reverse polarity electricity supply so just not beware of it but be aware of it in case that is an issue for you that's meant in a very helpful way Yeah, I would love to see a raccoon.
beginning of October in Belgium. Still lovely and sunny and warm. We're doing this for the bloke at Fantastic. <laughs> yes. he likes his local beers. We're not really beer drinkers, are we? But no, not at all. Thought we'd better enter into that spirit. Yeah. <laughs> spirit. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, ho. And we've got cool glasses. Cool glasses. Yes. A blonde beer. Mm -hmm. So I guess it's a bit lagery. Um, yeah, made in Pernode. Which is looking in a church, apparently. There you go. Yeah, so we saw this brand in, in Bruges. Um, and funnily enough, the guy that did the boat, that was driving the boat, the boat tour we did, he said to another customer that I, I speak fluent Belgian and they do not realize. And uh, <laughs> he was saying um, that that this Belgian beer, or Belgian beers in general, I guess, um, make the British Heineken lagers. The strength of used. <laughs> <laughs> Quite like proudly as well, and I gotta say that's got the warmth of like a bit of a vodka. something good. <laughs> okay, so we were just talking about this beer, and we were gonna do a flavour note thing. You know, we we're gonna yep, try and do some flip. Yeah, yeah, taste test. And um, it's already gone to my head. And uh, so we were getting ready. Yeah. And, and Tom said, "Will, will." And he was holding his. I hold mine like that. <laughs> like that. <laughs> And I was holding mine like that. <laughs> William, not, William, not. William. <laughs> <laughs> you get that little finger a little bit higher. I don't, I don't know why I always do this. <laughs> Hang on, let me try it the other way around. That's, that? Yeah, that's better. That's much, much better. <laughs> I just realized, you know when people are trying to be too manly, you know, do like a lot of um, manly things. Mm -hmm. To be to prove that to prove well, no, I think that's manly. just like a handle on the glass is, that is comfortable is the real and well balanced. Mm. <laughs> Shouldn't be scared of your hand holding skills. Your inner yeah, your inner wine drinker. <laughs> so pretty <British>. drinker. <laughs> okay, how the, did the, how did the first one go down? Lovely, really, really nice. nice, really smooth. That was a blonde beer. This mm -hmm. one is an amber. Yeah. And this one apparently is a fruity. Okay. So we've got to try them all. Yep. <laughs> oh dear. What have we had to eat today? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> this is the amber. It looks amber. And it's brewed just up the hill in a church apparently. Where this one was that we talked about about oh, five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> all this um, beer reviewing is quite good fun, isn't it? Oh. Oh, that's nice. Is it? Mm. What's it taste like? Nicer than the blonde one. Okay, well you thought the blonde tasted of pineapple. I did, yeah. This has the smite. Well, you've lost your little finger as well. <laughs> this has a bit more of a cashish. A what? Mm. Hashish. Cashish. Oh. What's cashish? Oh, it's a fruit. Is it actually? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Passed it already. We'll be rubbish beer reviewers. Try it, try it. So I will. That's really nice. Okay, okay, this is the third bottle. We are so lightweight. <laughs> it is 8.2%. 8.2%. I don't know what that is in the real world. Who knows? I know I can drink at least a point of <laughs> <laughs> What's this one? This is um, the fruity one. Okay. Again, it's the same brand. Yeah. So we liked the amber. That was yeah. pear yes. droppy, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, that's it very a, red. It did have a bit of pear drop taste. This looks very much to me like Corona Cherry it Aid. It does look like Corona Cherry Aid. Oh my god, it smells like it. Does it? Sniff. I'll have to sniff in a minute. Taste it. See if it tastes like it. It does, does it does it? taste like Corona, but it does taste like Cherry Aid. Okay. 
This is the strongest of them all. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> We're having a lovely time, aren't we? Yeah, it's a really lovely place. Yeah, this place, place, this place is buzzing. This yeah. place is hopping. It's hopping. It's just got it going good. on. <laughs> And it's not because we're here, everybody's left. Oh, it's just. It's <laughs> busy when we got here, wasn't it? It's just. <laughs> no. It's just very, very quiet. And lovely. Still lovely. The sun's going to be going down in a minute. It's going to get really dark and cold very quickly, I'd imagine. <clears throat> so, in the interest of the beer review of the Tete de Mot, this is. We, we've now gravitated towards the fruit flavour because. It's very much, we're very serious beer drinkers, and this very much Not reminds us of all. Cherry Aid. It's lovely because Corona it Cherry, like cherry Aid. Aid. It's really lovely. We're and thinking, it looks as fizzy as Cherry Aid. Well, well it does wait on the toilet, <laughs> which is from a great height and just in a big <laughs> splush. How cute is that? I love this sight. Me and my so sister had two rabbits when we were kids. Oh. And um, they record, I remember this, mm. bearing in mind I can't remember many things, mm. including what happened yesterday, but I remember our rabbits and they were the same colour as those and they were called Buncey and Smudge. No! Yep, Buncey Cute. and Smudge. Cute! Thank you. Now this is a, did I say what it was? Romeo and Julieta. A, um, a Cuban cigar. Now we are going to light it with this here thing. Which? <laughs> is that a fancy lighter? Yes. Let's yes. say it is. This Let's is how professional <laughs> we are. And we're taking this tonight, some people take it with a, um, with a nice strong coffee. Some people take it with a bourbon. Do they? Ma yeah. A bourbon. Maybe a nice port. We're taking it with a cherry aid flavoured Belgian beer. <laughs> That's what I heard from the site. Is it? Yeah. And there's a the church. Let's just walk around the side. Is that what you said? Should we have a look before we... Yeah. So I'll yeah, take my bag and secure things a bit more if it's if we're staying. Ooh. So we can catch a bus from here to Dinant. Yeah, we'll let you on. <laughs> <laughs> No. Full, especially Wells is full of dogs. Yeah. What we're trying to do is find where the brewery is that makes the beer we were drinking yesterday. Yeah. Because we were thinking that they're for sure going to have some sort of visitor center come tour. No, I don't want to do tour, but some visitor center where we can buy a t-shirt um, or yeah, something. Support the business. Support, support the business, and and I'm thinking that if the, hopefully they've made a really lovely t-shirt because the logo is great, isn't it? Mm. But we're drawing a blank so far, aren't we? Yeah. So what 
Well, I'm that thinking way. that the only place is either in there. I don't think there's anything out there. I think that's getting factory -y, don't you? Yeah. And I sort of need a sign to give me a sign that there is <laughs> some... <laughs> Something going on. Yeah, I, I don't think so, do you? Doesn't look like it. I think we should abandon all hope and get out of town. Okay. And then the other day I bought one of these from a very miserable man and... <laughs> Why does that make you a miserable man? No, from a very miserable oh, man. Oh, <laughs> yeah, very miserable. And um, it's actually really useful, isn't it? It's, mm. Yeah, so it's nice having the sat nav and everything, but this is, it's, you can sort of get a hold of it. Yeah, so we're meandering our way back to Calais. For Calais? Yeah, to the tunnel, channel. Yeah, tunnel. The, the shuttle. Whatever. Um, and, and we're, we're just loosely marking off points of interest, aren't we, or where we think might be interesting. Yeah, we're sort of heading from Spa and where we stayed last night, which was in the Deboc region. Yeah. I don't know, McDonald's? <gasps> <laughs> Maybe. Maybe not, though. I've quite enjoyed eating quite simply. Yeah, all in my home, we don't have a massive lunch time. Well, I really think I have a cracker. Lately. Okay. So we need to we need to get crackers in the van though, crackers in there. Yeah. That would be a right yeah, I could have one now with a bit lump of cheese or could just you? Yeah, that would keep me going, mate. Where is that a little crackery? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Oh, is it? Yeah. You need to mark it on the map then, where we are. Damn! Don't we? Because get then... It, get it. 
Yes. Damn. I'm trying to get your attention. We need to mark it on the map so that we can come back here. Yes, Willie. Your funny comment was also noted, and yes, I thought it was funny. Just and about to head over the border into France. To then scoop in, in, in. up through France to get to Ish Calais. Yes. And this is rather lovely all around here. Yeah, so in a minute, we're on the, at the moment we're on the N957. Then we'll be in France on the D936. Yeah. Just like that. Oh yeah, look at that. I see, I've got it on mine as well. Yeah, ready. In 600 metres, continue on to Rue de Landerly, D936. How exciting, isn't it? Isn't it? See, we'll get some sort of shiver go through us. Well, we missed coming into Belgium, didn't we? We did, although I did have a shiver. Did you? <laughs> okay. Have we, we've ready. done it. We've already gone over it. Uh, not according to mine, we haven't. Oh, no. We've just gone into it. Ah, here we go. It is. Ah, there's France. Ready. Diddy. Hooray. Bonjour. <laughs> Continue for three kilometres. Okay, we did that then. Ah, a Val Jolie. Whatever that means. I don't know. Now we've got to learn French again. <laughs> Hello. Are you a copying car? Yes. Can we what say? Are you a copying car? Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, just a second. A what car? A camping car. Oh. Morning. Yeah, you? Yeah, uh, sister will be in the car. 
Yeah. 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 Hi. Yep. Good. Yeah, it'd be lovely. Hello. I'm coming down the road. Pity, pity, pity. Pity, 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 pity. Oh, bon soleil. <laughs> I forgot you recorded it. <laughs> yeah, I don't, going in. I don't concentrate. Die. <laughs> Do apologise, old love. Let's get on the train. Oh. I wonder how they're managing. <laughs> managing. <laughs> managing a lovely part. Like you know, home. I've often wondered how they are <laughs> managing to get everything so precise and tight. Whereas now, you know, they've, they've just like made a carriage worth of room, haven't they? Thank Thank you. Engine up. There's a lot of instructions. Oh, this is very fast. Window up. It? Handbrake on. Handbrake on. Windows open a little smidge it. <laughs> Did you hmm. get all those? <laughs> I think it's because I took so long <laughs> edging forward. I think she'd already lost patience with me. <laughs> Back in England. Thank you. All right. Now Out here. Good one, Willie. Huh? Good one. Yeah, good one. Well done, you. That's good as well. London, M20. London? London. Where we're going to? Where's the boss? Where else called in uh, Hot Fuzz? Sanford. Sanford. Hello, <laughs> check in any people. Hello, nice time. In fun. half a mile, keep left toward A260. The A260 is where we want to go.